hi 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 good morning welcome back to our channel this is escape forever free here we are teaming together to restore physical mental spiritual and social wholeness so we invite that you peruse our channel and see what it is that we have here that could be of benefit to you we have juice and guidance we have mental um education and expression talks and we also have exercise routine guidance that we do offer we thank you for joining us if it's your first time a very special welcome to escape forever free if you are a returning visitor an extra extra special welcome back to you as well as our subscribed members we are happy to have you all with us now this particular video is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide it aims to help us to build the healthy habit of spending at least one hour with god every single day so what you do is that you choose your best sacrificial time for the day or for the week you turn up at that time as consistently as you can honoring the time and then you watch this video and at the end of it you continue for one hour you and god alone we hope that you will powerfully consider joining us and be supported in this challenging journeys journey as we prepare prepare for the tribulations that are near to come upon us being we are living in the last dispensation of earth's history all right so we're going to be using the great controversy we're still using that book as our guide for this season of our one hour alone time kickstart devotional and we also do use the king james version of the bible so grab both copies and join us let us pray and continue holy father thank you again for giving us the opportunity to continue father to seek after truth and light we pray father that you'll forgive us of our sins and that you'll give us a reconsecration afresh this morning we also pray that you'll make clear to us whatever it is that you have for us to receive from the messages of the pages of the great controversy that we will read this morning and even in our one hour alone time with you that you'll reveal truth and light as we seek after it and that you'll bless us and direct us into eternal life in jesus name we pray amen so we go straight into our memory text which we try to commit a text to memory every week this week memory text comes to us from ephesians 6 verses 16 to 17. today being our last practice day tomorrow on friday we will recite it attempt to recite it from memory so let us practice ephesians 6 16 to 17 above all above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god again ephesians 6 verses 16 to 17 above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god we pray god help us to be able to recall this in due season to glorify his name and edify souls even our very own let's now go to chapter 20 of the great controversy we're picking up at page 368.1 chapter 20 is entitled a great religious awakening so get chapter get to chapter 20 also get your king james version of the bible now let us go all right so it says here to william miller and his co-laborers it was given to preach the warning in america this country became the center of the great advent movement it was here that the prophecy of the first angel's message of course here to comment it's found in revelation 14 of the first angel's message had its most direct fulfillment the writings of miller and his associates were carried to distant lands no wherever the missionaries had penetrated in all the world were sent the glad tidings of christ's speedy return far and wide spread the message of the everlasting gospel quote unquote 
Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. The testimony of the prophecies, which seem to point to the coming of Christ in the spring of 1844, took deep hold of the minds of the people. Now, as the message from the state, from state, as the message went from state to state, there was everywhere awakened widespread interest. Many were convicted that the arguments from the prophetic periods were correct and sacrificing their pride of opinion, they joyfully received the truth. Some ministered, ministers rather laid aside their, their sectarian views and feelings left their salaries and their churches and united however who sorry and united in proclaiming the coming of Jesus there were comparatively few ministers however who would accept this message therefore it was largely committed to humble laymen and as the wise man Solomon says nothing new under the sun and so too will it be in our dispensation. Let us continue to read. Farmers left their fields, mechanics their tools, traders their merchandise, professional men their positions, and yet the number of workers was small in comparison with the work to be accomplished. The condition of an ungodly church and a world lying in wickedness burdened the souls of the true watchmen, and they willingly endured toil, privation, and suffering that they might call men to repentance unto salvation. Though opposed by Satan, the work went steadily forward, and the advent truth was accepted by many thousands we will have to stop there for today as we continue to advance in the chapters of the great controversy all right we're now going to go into our meditational hymn as we bring the segment of our one hour alone time with um sorry of our, of our kickstart one hour alone time with god to a close let us go to our meditational hymn number 300 and 17 but as we do commit nothing new under the sun so shall it be in the end that god will raise up men who are willing just as he did in former times to finish the work all right and the everlasting gospel must go forth and all that is prophesied must be fulfilled and let's do stanza three of number 317 let me like Mary through the gloom come with a gift to thee. O oh, show to me now the empty tomb, lead me to Calvary. Oh, let's I forget Gethsemane, Lord, lest I forget thine agony, Lord, lest I forget thy love for me, Lord, lead me to Calvary. Let us pray. Holy and righteous Father, we want to say thank you again for the forerunners that went before us so boldly and bravely to prepare us for the times that we are living in and that are to come upon us. May their spirit of braveness, Father, encourage us in the direction of seeking the same boldness of spirit from you as your Holy Spirit also falls upon us, consecrates us, and strengthens us. 
help us, Father, not to slight the words of the prophets. And if any of us doubt for whatever reason, we pray, God, that you'll give all in the hearing of this prayer who so desire to know nothing but truth and receive nothing but undiluted truth and light. We beg that you'll give them that spirit of heart and mind that they will seek after it and find it. And when they do, as the worker in the field who would have found that beautiful treasure, may they leave everything else behind that hinders them from receiving that truth. Guide us now as we go into our one hour alone time with you. And bless us, we pray, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Please do continue now for one hour, you and God alone. And remember, every step of the way in our life dealings, pray that the Holy Spirit empowers us to follow the blueprints, living by every word that is written in it. It is indeed a blueprint and our road map, map to eternal life. God bless you and see you in our next video.